Hi there folks, we've got another uh, container of surplus ammo to open up today and this is some 762 by 54 r ammo it is Chinese production as you can probably tell by the characters on it and it is a sealed case of surplus stuff so this is uh, corrosive primed and it belongs to a friend of mine he got a bunch of ammo from an estate and he was kind enough to let us uh, open it up for him so before we open it, let's have a look at the markings. This is Type 53 ammunition, which is what the Chinese designated their 762 by 54 r The caliber, 7.62. Uh, this character here indicates that it is normal ball ammunition, or just plain ammunition. It's not uh, armor piercing or anything like that. This character is uh, an indicator that it is steel or iron uh, cased ammunition, so steel cased ammunition. We've got our count here, 440 rounds in this uh, this carton. Over here we've got the lot number, uh, 0011, and the code for the factory that manufactured it, so factory 71, and the production date, so this is April of 1968. And this data here relates to the powder that was used to load the cartridges, so this is from uh, factory number 25 produced in 1967 and it is lot number 15 and this information here relates to the uh, specific type of powder used to load the, the round. Anyway, so it's a standard kind of early type communist block packaging just a galvanized steel tin you can see that the ends are kind of just folded over and the thing has been soldered together with lead and then we've got this pull, pull tab here on the corner and basically what you're doing is you're breaking through the, uh, the metal here on an angle when you pull this right, back. Alright, I put this thing down on the floor because I figured it would be easier to get some uh, good leverage on it. It's also uh, probably a good idea to get something to put through the, the loop there to be able to get a little bit better uh, purchase on it. So let's see if we can uh, get this thing opened. Inevitably it involves standing on the can to get leverage, but hopefully I don't block the camera too much. I can't really see what I'm doing here in the camera, but hopefully are not blocking it too much. Well, I hear a hiss, so I guess that's a good thing. Holy crap. All right. Sort of broke free, but kind of tore. That thing is on there good. Might have to get some uh, vice grips or something to continue on with that. We'll see what we can do here. See if we can pull this thing. See if we can pull this thing open. Nope. Well, that was not ideal. Well, plan B. There we go. I think we got a hold of it there. There we go. Alright, I think I'll uh, continue working at that, see if I can get the whole thing off. Alright, a little bit of a struggle there, but uh, we managed to get the top off this thing. I think I'll throw it back up in the, uh, on the bench. Alright, we got her back up on the bench. Let's have a look at what's inside. So I got some layers of cardboard here. I think that was to protect it from the heat from the soldering. Another layer of cardboard. And another layer. That one's got some writing on it. Probably doesn't mean anything particular. And another layer. So four layers of cardboard. And there should be, what, 22 packages of this stuff in here. So there is some cardboard packed around the ends as well to keep the, the heat from the soldering away from it. So 
let's pull one of these packages out. The usual uh, sort of Soviet, uh, Chinese, communist paper packaging. And there should be 20 rounds in each one of these. So. Nice clean looking stuff. So, steel cased of course. We got a Berdan primer. Not sure how well the uh, head stamp will show up in that, but anyway, we'll have a closer look at this ammo later on. But yeah, nice clean looking stuff. So I think I'm going to uh, trade my buddy a couple of boxes of other 762 ammo just so I can uh, dissect some of this stuff and we can take it out to the range and try it out since uh, it's a different lot number than the stuff I've had before. Anyway, I guess that's uh, enough for this video. We got the case opened up and we've had a look at a few rounds and we'll delve into this stuff a little deeper at a later date. Anyway. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.